Yo, what's up, guys? I'm back. Got a review for you. This time, we have this 92 rated Bobby Charlton card. Now, if you wonder why I've got a little bit of different lighting or different setup, it's purely because I'm in here because of the builders are in the back, so I can't do my reviews where I normally would. So, on stats, he's 5 foot 8, got the high medium work rate. He's got the 4 star skills, 5 star weak for his third foot of speed and left foot. Now, on turning positions, he can play the camp and the centre forward role. Doesn't have too much variety, which is a little bit annoying. Now on stats, he's got a 90 pace, 91 shooting, 87 passing, 91 dribbling, and also the 74 physicals. So on paper, obviously, looks like an exceptionally card all round. Now on playstyles, he has quite a few. as incisive, technical, quick step, Traveller, first touch, long ball pass, and power shot plus. Now, if you do enjoy the review or want to see more, please do subscribe. It generally does mean a lot to my channel, and I see after positive and negatives. Peace. Now on to my thoughts about this card, now if you don't know how to segment works, I pretty much say what's good, what's bad, what you should and what you shouldn't do, just so you use this card as best as possible. Now, first thing is that uh, 4 star skills, 5 star weaver, now the 5 star weaver obviously really, really nice to have, um, it adds a little bit of unpredictability about the card and obviously 4 star skills, it's not bad, it's not amazing, you do want 5 but... 
but um, acceptable. Now, the pace for me, really good. Has quick step, has really good pace, especially with this Hawk Kemstel. Goes really, really fast. And honestly, if you're going to utilize him down the wing or a cam, that pace is exceptionally good. Now, the shooting for me overall mainly was good. Had a few inconsistent shots here and there, which were quite frustrating. Uh, especially on that left foot, you'd expect it to be dependable. But here and there, he would miss a few easy chances, as you see in the clip. So, you do need to be careful about that at times. Now, the passing view overall, he has good play styles. He also has good passing attributes. Really good overall. I do think this card is better as a cam, purely because of that um, shooting, as I've talked about. Passing is decent and good enough, especially with the play styles. Could do long passes, can do short passes. All really, really nice. Now, dribbling on this card, really good. He's not the tallest of cards and obviously has really good agility and all that kind of stuff. Good balance, good ball control. All of these go hand in hand and means he can twist and turn really nicely to get away from them defenders. Now, the physicals, head and accuracy is actually quite good, but being small, it's not going to matter. The one that matters most is the stamina, and he does have that as 86, which is quite good for a cam. You do want more like 90 to last you 120, but it will definitely last you the whole 90 minutes, which is a very nice attitude to have. Now, the strength for me, unfortunately, is a little bit low, and will get pushed off quite easily by a lot of the midfielders and centre-backs. But, with that being said, if you utilise their dribbling, utilise their pace, I don't think it comes into too much effect. So, on to my overall scores about the card. Then, now, if you don't know how the same works, I pretty much rank each individual side. So, you've got pace using passing on a score out of 10, and I also give them a value of coins at overall score. Now, first thing is that pace. Now, overall for the pace, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. It is very, very solid, and he can definitely get you in full, full and goal when you need him to. Now, next to me is going to be that shooting. Now, overall for this, I'm going to give it 8.5, purely because I had a little bit of inconsistencies at times. Overall, on both feet, is quite dependable, but I just you just need to be careful at times because of those odd shots here. And then maybe it was just me that played the 20 games on, and he had a few blunders here and there, but just be careful. Now, the passing for me, as I can, I'm going to get 8 out of 10. It's decent, to be fair. Not really many uh, problems with it at all. He could do the simple and the hard stuff, so that's good. Uh, the dueling for me, overall, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Give it any higher, I would need 5-star skills and stuff like that. But, or maybe a technical plus instead of a power shot. But with that being said, he still can twist and turn quite nicely. Now, next to me is the physicals. Now, the stamina is one that matters most. And he does have quite a bit of stamina. So, overall this, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Now, on overall score and value for his overall score for me, then I'm going to give him a 8.7 out of 10. I did think he was a good icon. I just don't think he was like a wow factor icon. And I know a lot of people are probably going to... Say, oh, well, you used him wrong. But I've used him for a lot, a lot of games. And I just don't see it uh, specifically. So, value for coins, I'm I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. I do think he's a good card. Don't get me wrong. I just don't feel like he's to the other um, price caliber of some of the like, similar cards to him. Like the Janola and stuff like that. But that's all for me, you. As always, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do subscribe. If you want anything in particular, let me know down in the comments down below. I'll try and respond to it as many as possible. But I've got nothing more, so see you next to you, and peace out, guys.